welcome back to another flight attendant video. It's Ty Twin, and I almost got a missed trip today. <laughs> I will tell y'all about it when I get to the airport. It's raining, it's a flash flood warning, so we're gonna hope I make it. It's like monsoon season over here. Like, ever since I watched that video, or that movie, I mean, with the kids getting trapped in the cave yesterday, it's been raining. And like Thailand or Bangkok or some I don't know where, but it's wild out here. Y'all almost got a missed trip. I know I said that already, but I almost got a missed trip. I just had to say it again. I'll tell y'all, I gotta get to the airport, okay? We're gonna talk whenever I get in the dryness. <laughs> so guys, I'm on the Skyling, headed to my terminal. Today I go from Dallas to Chicago, Chicago to Bozeman, Montana. I missed my first call that Chris Gedlin gave me at like 2.09 or 3.09 or something like that. So she called back 20 minutes later and I happened to feel the phone vibrating next to me. So that's how I almost got a missed trip. <laughs> yeah, and I'm upset because I'm good for three days trying to time out and they gave me a two day trip. Like, they hate me. They're really trying to stretch this out but little do they know, as soon as I hit 85, as I'm checking in at the airport, I will call and tell them, hey, I need to be released. I have 85 hours. This is my stop. Let's walk to the gate. <laughs> Guys, so this is a 737 trip. So this is the plane. Yeah. So apparently, according to, I think he's the number one, according to him, there was an earlier Chicago flight, but it got canceled. I'm going to Chicago too. I don't think I told you that when I was on the Skylink. That obviously was canceled due to weather. And yeah, so this is oversold, although I already knew it would be because I'm pretty sure a lot of flights last night canceled. So I already knew. Anything out of Dallas today, and I feel like tomorrow is gonna be crazy. So tomorrow, we have three legs and we do like a victory lap and it is raining inside of here. Like it's leaking. Hopefully that cancels. <laughs> but yeah, I'm about to uh, finish checking my emergency equipment and then just chill. Yeah, and then just chill. I will see y'all probably in Bozeman, maybe Chicago, who knows. I'm gonna really quickly give y'all a room tour. I'm gonna tell you how the last flight was and then we're gonna head out on the town, okay? So let's do this. There's a mirror. Here is my OOTD. This is a set. So it comes with a little jacket too. I'm wearing my hat. It has pockets right here. So we love that for me, okay? You turn right here, you have the, I guess, wardrobe situation, a safe and a refrigerator as well. Then we'll go this way into the restroom, my stuff. A shower, it has a waterfall feature too. You look. And then love the lights. This is just really cute, you know? Now let's go into the room. Two chairs over, a king size bed, and I have this long area right here where I can put my luggage. And a TV, really, really big TV actually. So there's not really a view, so mm, there's not much to show you there. But I'm in Bozeman, Montana, and it is super cute here. Like, super cute. We're right downtown. I'm gonna go walking. Guys, my battery is not looking good. <laughs> it's not looking good, okay? I'm so sorry. I wanna go to the museum, and then there's also like this natural honey thing place. One of my crew members told me about I wanna make sure I walk there as well. So, yeah, the last flight, it was good. It went by super fast, like really fast. I was tired on both of the flights. I started getting my first win, not second. First win at the end of the first flight, because mind you, I've been tired this whole morning. Crew scheduling called me at 2.09, and then again at like 2.39. This morning, I went to sleep at like 11 last night, so I really didn't get a lot of rest before I had to get up and start getting my life together because my showtime was at 518 this morning but yeah i am about to try and plug up this battery let it charge for like 10 minutes while i go warm up my patty melt from last night the rest of it at least i'm gonna let my phone keep charging really quickly and then we're gonna
guys so i'm like in the thick of downtown it is so cute down here it's adorable i went into lululemon though and why ain't nobody tell me these girls was paying like 60 dollars for a pair of biker shorts that's outrageous oh like i went in there because i'm severely overdressed and it's hot i went in there trying to look for like biker shorts i could put on and man but yeah i'm gonna just turn y'all on when i get to the museum it's like a 35 minute walk i got distracted by the shop so i'm definitely gonna come back and shop it's so pretty Y'all, I'm so tired. I just live in the museum. It was pretty cool. The last thing I did in there was go to the planetarium. And it's funny because I was knocked out. <laughs> like, y'all, I'm real life tired. Okay? Oh, excuse my head. <laughs> Guys, I just went to this place to get some rice. Because I have some gumbo. And I needed rice to eat with it. And so, you know, I went to like this, this dim sum place. And it was a white guy really country accent and he i'm assuming was the owner like he i'm pretty sure he was the owner so i ordered or whatever i started talking to him i was like so how did you learn how to cook dumplings and dim sum so he told me he met his wife and basically she's chinese and she was like you need to go to china and learn how to traditionally make dumplings so for seven months, he went over, lived in China, this is prior to COVID, and learned how to make it traditionally. And I was like, that's really cool, actually. And so he was saying how they want to go back at the end of the year to, so she could see her family because she, she misses home, too. I ended up ordering some shrimp dumplings and some rice, though. I told y'all about the rice. But they ended up giving it to me for free, and I'm just like... <laughs> Thank you. That's so kind. I'm gonna warm up for my food and then I'll show y'all everything I got because I went shopping. All right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and show y'all everything that I got today before I go ahead and package it all up. So that way in the morning, I don't have to try and rush to get everything packed up. So we're gonna start off with what I got from this spices store. Hold on, let me sit y'all down. I got some turmeric powder the reason i got this is because i'm gonna make a face mask for my dark spots because y'all i don't know if y'all been able to tell but 
the dark circles around my eyes are there permanently now and it's ridiculous plus i have a lot of dark spots i really just want to get rid of and i got this tea guys it smells so good it's elderberry fortress herbal tea it says the blend highlights the immune boosting elderberry scented by ginger and I don't know this word. Apple and hibiscus drive this fruit for tea with natural juicy sweetness and fresh fruit aroma. It smells, ugh, even, through, even through the Ziploc bag, it smells amazing. Ugh. <laughs> with body butter, it's like a body butter, but apparently it's infused with honey. I don't know, it smells super spearminty, but did not get this for me. It was for somebody else, but I'm gonna try it real quick because I wanna try it. It smells like gum, like spearmint gum. Maybe I should have gotten the lemon. <laughs> then I got like a lip balm from the same honey factory place. Montana Honey Bee is the flavor. And then I got a healing balm, which she said is amazing and it lasts apparently forever. She said you can use it on your hands, on your um, lips and whatever, you know. Then I ended up getting two raw honey. So this one is the raw honey infused with blackberry. It's really sweet. She did let me sample it. It's sweet. It's good though, but it's sweet. This big one, this is actually my favorite one. It's not for me though. I'm so sad. It's the flavor star thistle or in, it's infused with star thistle, which is basically a plant. I had to look it up, but it's a plant. So yeah, that's everything that I got. So now I'm gonna go ahead and wrap everything up and start putting it up into my luggage. Tomorrow, our van time, I think it's 6.05, so my alarm is set for five o'clock. Y'all, I fell asleep in that planetarium. <laughs> Your girl is tired, okay? But it's fine because I'm about to lay down now. I need to chug some water because I haven't drank any all day. So I will see y'all in the morning. It is the next morning. It's currently 5.56 a.m. My van time is at 6.05, so I got roughly 10 minutes to be downstairs. I am supremely rested. Like, let me turn on some lights. I got good sleep. I don't know what time I fell asleep, but the time that I did fell asleep, fall asleep, it was everything for me. I think I was real, not, not I think. I know I was super tired from, you know, not getting sleep the night prior, but I think me walking like three and a half miles probably boosted up some of my sleepiness because your girl was tired, all right? And then I ate good. Yeah, I fell asleep with a whole hoodie on, a whole crew neck on. That's how you know, I was tired. I was tired. But yeah, so today we have three flights today. We go from Bozeman to Dallas. We sit for two hours, of course. They always wanna sprinkle that in there. They don't wanna make it too easy for us. And then we do an Austin turn. The Austin turn will be easy because there's no service. It's a really short and quick flight. They could have got somebody else to do it, but they didn't want to pay anybody else to do something. They already have a crew at the airport for, I guess. I don't know. I will see y'all probably in Dallas since I have a two hour sit. But I hope y'all are having a good day. This is the beginning of my day and I'm fully rested. So, you know, I hope I have a good day too, honestly. But I will see y'all probably in Dallas. Hey guys, so yeah, you know, I've been I am nice. in Dallas. No, I've been getting <sighs> Remember what I said about I hope my flight gets canceled? At this point, it's at a whole nother level. So I didn't know until like 20 minutes before our last night ended that we have two, two hours sit today. So the first one, first flight or the first sit in between Dallas and Austin would have been two hours and like two minutes or something like that. Then we would fly to Austin and then we would sit in Austin for two hours and 24 minutes. Y'all, I have never heard 
of them having a sequence where they have two sits within one day. Ridiculous. Now, because the weather in Dallas is looking a little funky, now it just rearranged our sits. So now the sit in Dallas is three hours and three minutes, and the sit in Austin will be an hour and a half. I'm still irritated. Like, I don't think people realize. Half the time when, uh, half the time guys, especially now, depending on who, who you work for and how the sequences are set up. Like, being in this industry is not always fun. Half the time, most of the time, I'm hanging out in airports, all right? Like, I'm in airports more than anything today, which really just, mm, but what can you do, you know? I, if I had FMLA, I would definitely call out because this is stupid. That's pretty much it. I'm going to bid right now. I'm gonna try and stop complaining about this freaking set. Cause what can I do about it? I'm gonna charge my stuff up and I am going to bid. Hopefully I get a two day trip. Cause the least they can do is let me time out. So surprise, surprise, your girl did not film an outro for this video. <laughs> so I do have this B-roll of me bidding and taking some emergency and just chilling and waiting for the next flight. Speaking of which, we got on the plane and there was a mechanical to the point where we were delayed even more so much. After we went to Austin, we ended up coming back immediately. So there was no more sit time, which I mean, hey, I don't know if that's a win or what, but... It was a little extra drama sprinkled in there because why not? I hope you guys, though, enjoyed this vlog. Who would have known I love Bozeman, Montana? I really want to go back and do some hiking, so hopefully I can get back there. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and come back for the next one. And I will see you soon, all right? Okay, bye.